Welcome to an extraordinary property surrounded by the breathtaking beauty of nature. Get ready to discover the watershed, a remarkable grand designed eco lodge that seamlessly blends in with its stunning environment. With a design that connects two parts of the building with a floating glass link, it accentuates the relationship between the house and the waterscape. Inside, you'll find a triple height space with a floating balcony and expansive views. Join me on this tour of the watershed, where nature meets innovation and sustainability. So welcome to the front of the house. I do have a new presenter in today's video, Macy, which is the cute dog of this household. So out the front, we have double electric gates leading you into this large driveway that fits 10 plus cars. To my left, we have a garage, which doubles up as a storage space. Now, looking back at this beautiful house and the beautiful dog, we have Siberian Larch and Napped Flint on the bottom, a very coastal theme because we are only 600 meters from the sea. This house has a really interesting history. The owners, Dan and Nina, actually purchased the site back in 2017. Dan and Nina here. Um, we've been living here in the finished house, nearly finished house, for uh, about two years now. So the property was on the market for a couple of years before we saw it. We, we bought it excitedly, moved out to London with our young children, and then went through a process of designing it whilst we were on site, which was obviously really helpful because we could understand where the orientation, where the sun was hitting the site and all those sorts of things and how it worked through the seasons. Um, and it went straight through planning. And um, yeah, and then, and then we, we built it for a, a couple of years. Now we've seen the exterior, we still have so much more to show you. So let's go on inside and meet Matt. Immediately as you enter the property, your eyes are drawn straight out onto that incredible natural swimming pool, which we're going to show you very shortly. Now, as we know, Dan's an architect, Nina is an interior designer, and many of the home's features came straight from their creativity, such as this light fitting, which has recycled sushi mats around old plumbing pipe, incredible. Then we have the staircase here, which is far more than just a purpose built staircase. It's an art form in itself beautiful curvature on the way up. They actually had many quotes for that, well over six figures, but they managed to get it done for less than 20,000 pounds, which was highly impressive. We have the log burner over here, triple height ceilings with the two balustrades, and you just start to get a feel of how amazing this property is. We've got so much to show you. I'm gonna take you through all of the rooms of this area, but first I wanna show you what we all want to see. We're gonna get straight into it. So come on through this way. The property is made up of two parts, the main house, and then the floating island. So over this elevated walkway directly across the water, it really pulls you in and gives you that feeling of you are literally floating like a beautiful resort in the Maldives over the top of your private natural swimming pool. Come on out, let me show you this. <laughs> ah! Wow, how incredible is this? This is amazing, I'm a little bit wobbly on the old stepping stones. <laughs> that was risky. Anyway, guys, this is a natural swimming pool. So there's no chlorine, no salt water. And the owner was telling me how much she loves it and it feels so refreshing every time you get out. Every time you walk through the door, it really entices you, pulls you through the house and makes you just want to walk up and dive straight in. I love that it's completely natural as well. And to swim in the natural swimming pond is just unlike any other experience of swimming. So if you're in a pool, obviously you can feel the chlorine on you, you need to wash it off afterwards. Even in the sea, you feel that salt tightening your skin and you feel the urge to shower. But with this water, it's just purer than tap water. It's literally as purer than tap water. So when you're swimming in it, it has this incredible feeling on your skin. And by the time you get out, it softened your entire body, your hair, your skin, and you yeah, get this, this buzz from it that lasts the whole day. And it's actually really addictive. So I'll go in about five times a day when it's hot because I just, it's better than coffee. It works better than anything else I've ever experienced. It's, it's, it's a very addictive thing to have, especially yeah. in the home. I feel so lucky to have it. And it was 100% the right decision of Dan's. And thank God you pushed for it. As I mentioned before, Dan is an architect. He came up with the design of this home. Nina is an interior designer. 
They built their company Studio Fuse and we were talking to them earlier about favorite features and one thing Dan said, the things that he was really proud of was of course this incredible pool, totally unique, the staircase and the look of the house from the back there. And you can actually sit over there and enjoy all of those three elements of architecture in one go, which is just incredible. Now we have so much more to explore out here. There's one and a half acres, there's a tennis court, loads of seating areas, and also just over there is a sauna room. And Matt, did you know they actually do yoga retreats here? Maybe we should book in. We should, yeah. What an amazing place <laughs> to unwind. It really, really, um, invites all of the nature and wildlife to the natural swimming pond and so you know we, we have bats in the evenings we have newts and frogs and toads I was just watching a tiny little baby um, frog this morning actually and all of the baby newts are, are starting to swim around as well and and the swallows come down and, and drink from the water we have wagtails skipping over the lily pads eating the, the insects it's just a complete complete delight you know it's just beautiful every single morning what you do is you open the curtains and the first thing you look at is what's happening on the water now coming into the kitchen first up we have this seating area which is perfect for a morning coffee overlooking your natural swimming pool then over to my left in this corner is a breakfast area you also have a fireplace perfect for the winter time they've carried the siberian larch from the outside into the kitchen and they've also used a white induction hob for that really sleek look and they've also got black accents like this cooker hot tap now there's some cool cupboards in here because this one is hidden through this section here there we go little touch one and then on this side is the fridge and freezer but very rustic but contemporary and then you also have a large sliding door out to another terrace now let's head back through this glass corridor. There's actually some fish in this water, which I thought was quite cool. Anyway, the first room on my left is a snug, really cozy in there, perfect for a movie night, but you do also have a window that allows you to look all the way through to the natural swimming pool. Ahead of me is the boot room where there's a utility and a WC, perfect place to bring the dog back after a muddy walk. Now, let's check out this staircase one more time because what's really cool is it doesn't actually touch the back wall here. Now, coming round, we've got a, another living room on this floor, so I'll take you through in there. The concrete flooring follows through. We have Venetian plaster and a kids' playroom round the back. But the best part about this room is the sliding doors into the garden where Matt is currently chilling out. You look like you're having a nice comfy seat there, Matt. Yeah, thanks for doing all the work with the tour. I've just been enjoying <laughs> this incredible sunny day out here on the seating area. We've got the fire pit in front of us, which we're gonna get lit very soon. Let's get lit. Let's get lit. <laughs> but this garden's amazing. It really is somewhere where you can truly explore for hours. I mean, what a place to be a kid growing up. When we were sort of designing it, I had this mantra in my head the entire time of just creating a happy, healthy, natural family environment. Every single decision came back to that kind of mantra. And, and I think, that's sort of quite telling actually so whenever people arrive now you can just watch their demeanor slow down and they just kind of start slipping into this sort of slightly zen mode you sort of go out and explore you know and and there's a real element of that here as well so i get so much you know delight in seeing little kids sitting on the boulders and just sort of dipping their fingers and their toes into the water and watching kind of little insects and sort of playing with it you know with a with the pond and the water and the wildlife and you know and it's just sort of that natural sort of discovery that children have in an environment like this was also kind of really top of the list of kind of the things that we're trying to create with that in mind let's continue to explore these gardens so summer will catch up with you a little later yeah see you in a bit so first thing i want to touch on is these boulders now these were hand selected by dan and nina they're from wales and they've gone through a process called tumbling to allow that really smooth finish on my left, we have the wood-burning hot tub, which we're going to check out a little later. Now, we've talked about the fact that Dan is an architect. We haven't talked about the fact that he also has a degree in psychology, and that was very much utilised in the design and build of this home. After all, what is a space, if not somewhere, where it makes you feel a certain way? Now, I'm walking on these slabs at the moment, and they're the perfect distance apart for a child's steps. And when I first came out here and we were walking through the gardens, I commented on the fact that they actually allow you as an adult or almost make you slow right down, which makes you enjoy 
the aspects of the garden a lot more, appreciate your surroundings. And then we got talking about the fact there is actual architecture text that talks about that in this literal sense, which I thought was really cool. Now we have some more of the hand-selected boulders here, nicely positioned in the oasis of the garden. Now the garden is separated into different sections. We have the swimming pool area there, then we have the lawn. So if you still want to kick a football around, run around as kids, you've still got this space. Now up to that end of the garden, we have an additional fire pit accessed via a nice walkway through there. Now behind me, we have the tennis court, which is the third part of the garden at the back. There's also some beautiful gardens towards the front. So we're gonna go have a game of tennis very shortly. Let's go inside and show you the bedrooms. <laughs> first floor you have incredible views over the garden through the double height glazing. Now let me take you to the principal suite first which is at the end of the corridor. So first up on the left you have a nice dressing room area and then coming into the main space of the room you've got neutral colours with blush Venetian pasta on the wall which I love and the main part about this bedroom is the views of the garden. You have so much natural light in here, it's incredible. And then over to my right is the ensuite with a bath and a huge walk-in shower. Now heading back out, we have three more bedrooms on this floor. So firstly on my right, we've got a guest bedroom and then the family bathroom is through here. A gorgeous bathtub with brass hardware and then the Venetian plaster in here as well. Heading back out, let's go to the other side of the corridor where the two kids' bedrooms are. Let's head into this one first. So Nina designed both the kids' bedrooms. As you can see, they've got so much color and the en-suites are so cute. They have pink tiles with a gorgeous sink basin. That's probably one of my favorite parts about the kids' rooms is their own little en-suite. Okay, we've got another one. This one has quite a cool bed. How awesome is this bed? <laughs> I would have loved that as a kid. And again, you've got great views out to the front and you've also got your own ensuite too in this one. Pink and white tiles, which is a nice touch for the little girls' bedroom. Okay, we have two more rooms upstairs on the top floor. Now we're on the top floor, we have two more rooms. One is currently used as a study, which I won't be able to show you, but I can show you the guest suite. Firstly, we have a wardrobe and a powder room for the guests when they stay around. And this is the main part of the bedroom. So it's a pretty big room for the top floor. You've got the bed in this section. And Nina did mention she's gonna add a nice bath in this bedroom, which will be really nice. And then over on this side, you've got a sofa bed, maybe if there are kids also staying, but you've got lots of skylights up here. We're pretty much done with the tour, so we'll meet you guys back downstairs when we go for a dip in the pool. So it's the evening time now, and Matt and I are gonna go for a swim in this beautiful natural pool. We hope you guys enjoyed the tour, and if you did, please remember to hit like and subscribe, and we'll continue to bring you the best house tours in the UK. This has been one of my absolute favorite episodes, and I get to finish it in the best possible way. tell from the tennis court. Wow. wow. I like the exterior <laughs> of that. Oh, and here's the doggo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the staircase. I remember seeing this. Never seen anything like that. It's like lily pads in the pool. <laughs> Do you want dog it's away? No, 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 dog's good. Stay in. So she starts licking him. <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> Do you want to eat it? Oh, you like, is she allowed to eat it? <laughs> You've got a very nice house. Hi. 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 What's Hi. Your name? Hi. Hi. We moved on to the. Sorry, dog. <laughs> Whereas with a swimming pool, you have the cover on at winter. In winter, you end up with lots of dead frogs and you know um, creatures that have landed into it and died and, and land up in the filters. But where is? Sounds a bit morbid. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>